Hi guys. Um, one of the questions that we constantly get with the AnyRidge system is how to properly de-engage the abutment from the implant connection. So what does that mean? One of the beautiful things about the AnyRidge system is it's five degree Morse taper and how you truly have that hermetic seal. Now let's talk about a conical connection versus a Morse taper connection. Conical connection does not actually physically seal or stick to the implant abutment itself. And that uh, uh, average typically happens at the 5.7 or 5 degree Morse taper. Now any ridge is a 5 degree Morse taper, so you do have the physical connection of the abutment to the implant where it creates that hermetic seal, which is a beautiful thing. You have basically no stink when you remove the abutment from the implant which is really an advantage because it also helps with micro movement, etc. Anyway, one of the questions that we always get is how do you remove the abutment properly? So we're going to quickly uh, demonstrate that. So one of the things I want to show you is this is an oversized model and then I will show you on the actual implant itself. But I'm going to demonstrate it on the oversized model first on how to actually test to see if the abutment is actually coming loose. All right. So what does that mean? You can clearly see the easy post abutment on this oversized model. Now, how you can tell it's an easy post abutment is you can see the platform switch built into the abutment itself. So let's look at the <clears throat> screw removal itself. Now, again, oversized screwdriver going into the hex. And one of the beautiful things about the AnyRidge is, again, when you push down into the hex itself, the driver will actually friction fit. And I will demonstrate that in just a second with the actual abutment. But for these oversized model, I'm just demonstrating that. Now, again, push down into the hex to make sure you're engaged into the screw hex. Now what you want to do is I'm putting a little bit of pressure downwards. And then I'm actually unscrewing at the same time. Now you're going to, now that's a little, how shall I say, it's an added benefit when you do it that way. Why? As I'm pushing down, I'm putting pressure on the threads. Okay on the uh, inside of the implant itself. Now, as I'm unscrewing, watch what's going to happen. Now you can hear the little. Okay. Now, so what am I doing? I'm pushing down, but I'm unscrewing. So when I hear that actual click, that means I am disengaged from the implant. Then again, let's do that again. Okay. So that means I'm, uh, the screw is disengaged from the implant, but it is not, the screw is not disengaged from the internal abutment threads. That brings up a great point. There are internal abutment threads on the uh, OEM parts from Megagen. On third party parts, there are typically not the internal uh, uh, threads in the abutment, which causes a huge problem when you're actually trying to remove the abutment. That's another video. We'll talk about that later. Anyway, so now what we're going to do is we're, we're going to gently lift up. Now see this, this abutment driver doesn't physically friction fit in place. So I have to do it, cheat a little bit here. I have to cheat like this. Hold on one second. There we go. Now, good. Now I'm engaged in the threads in the abutment itself. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up and disengage the screw. Again, oversized model does not represent the machine parts. There we go. Now <clears throat> the screw is going to come out from the threads in the abutment itself. And again, I can push down and hear that click. Now that makes sure that you're disengaged. Then the screw comes out. All right. Now on the oversized model, I'm not going to show you the abutment removal tool. I'm going to actually show it with the physical, uh, actual implant, but the abutment, because it's an oversized model, it's not going to actually physically stick in place, but the abutment will be stuck into the implant in the actual part and piece. So then the trick is how to remove the abutment. All right. So the abutment will be li literally physically, hermetically sealed as it is right now. So I can see, so that uh, Morse taper engagement is key. 
So your uh, uh, abutment and hex are actually engaged into the implant and then stuck inside the implant. So that's oversized model. Now let's show the actual parts and pieces. This is an abutment removal tool. You can physically see it's an abutment removal tool because there's threads in the shank of the driver. Simple, all right? And then this is what I'm talking about when it comes to the actual screw itself. Here's a removal tool. Here's the hex end of the removal tool. The driver itself goes into the uh, uh, final screw. And again, I can physically push that in there and your driver, or, or your, sorry, your screw will not be released. So that's a huge advantage, huge advantage. Now I wanna show you quickly. Um, here's the actual easy post abutment, same thing, but actual um, my, uh, real, real size. So now there's a set of uh, threads inside the abutment itself, and I'm going to thread that into, see the drivers sticking in there, which is exactly what you want in the mouth. So that way it doesn't come out, um, and go down the patient's throat. So this screw is now screwed in and you can clearly see the threads sticking out. So again, the most important thing, important thing to remember about the, uh, uh, abutments themselves, whether it's a milled abutment, a pre-mill, or a stock abutment that we make, there are threads inside the abutment. Really, really, really important. Okay, and you can tell their threads because again, the abutment does not come off without unscrewing that. I'm going to get a actual implant itself. You can clearly see this is a 3.3 core. Now, what I'm going to do, actually, let me let me demonstrate this in the oversized model first. Now what I'm gonna do, in order to seat the abutment, here is your hex. Your, your hex is gonna go down into the implant and I'm purposely, I, want, I purposely want to mismatch the hex. And as I t push down and twist, watch what happens. Boom, it drops into place. Okay, let me do that again. Push down, twist, and boom. See, you, you heard that click. That's another little test that you can do to ensure that that hex is engaged inside the implant. Again, mismatch the hex, push down, twist at the same time, boom, it drops down, okay? So we're gonna do that now with the actual part and piece. So we're gonna get the uh, easy post abutment, we're gonna mismatch the hex, we're gonna put it in and twist, boom, you hear that click. Now. Again, you can do this in the mouth. This is a secondary protocol for you to follow in the mouth to ensure that the abutment is seated. Again, you're always gonna take an x-ray to make sure it's seated. Put that in, drop it down. Now, I'm gonna put the screw down into the implant abutment connection. Now I'm gonna remove that screw just like we just did. Again, push down and remove the screw. And you're gonna hear a little click. Click, click, click. That means I'm disengaged from the implant threads, not the abutment threads. Then what we have to do is we have to gently lift up just about a millimeter and then re-engage, there we go, re-engage the threads on the internal aspect of the abutment. All ultra, ultra, ultra important and then your screw will simply come out. Now remember I told you about the, the screwdriver sticking? This is what you want. You want your parts and pieces to stick together, okay? The abutment is physically sealed. Now remember, I just did this with finger pressure. So let me try to disengage the easy post it will not disengage. So now what we're gonna do is get the abut removal tool with the threads in, uh, in, in the shank itself. We're gonna push it in and we're gonna gently screw in the threads. Remember there's two sets of threads, yeah. okay? So the threads are gonna engage the threads of the abutment first, go in there, and then you're gonna feel a little drop. Why? Because remember, now the, the point of the hex is gonna drop down on the inside of the implant. There we go. It's gonna bottom out on the inside of the implant. Now all I physically do is keep turning righty-tighty. Boom. 
and it disengages. It's really that simple, okay? You just have to follow the protocol of, again, engaging the threads in the internal aspect of the abutment. You can clearly see the driver, it's, the threads are here, the driver bottoms out on the inside of the implant and physically lifts the abutment up. And that's all there is to it. There you go.